Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm super excited. We're taking a look at is what hands down the best value 2020 Class A diesel pusher that we still have left in inventory. This is the 2020 Integra Coach Riata model 39T2 diesel pusher. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel that gives you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again, today I'm super excited to be showing you this Integra Riata. It's uh, Integra's newest product on the diesel line. It's their entry level diesel, but it still starts at $300,000 on the Spartan chassis. Now, before we begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hi everyone. Hey Andrea, how's it going? It's going good. Super exciting today. Yes, it's very exciting guys. I've never seen an Integra diesel pusher, so I'm super excited. Yep, and what's even more exciting is we're taking a look at this one, which is a 2020, and it's the same as that one, but that's a 2019, so there's even a better discount. And Andrea, do you notice anything different about my attire today? Yes. Yeah, I got a brand new belt from Grip6, a American-made company. I will tell you guys all about it later on in this video and how you can get a belt for free. Nice. All right, let's begin. Model is 39T2, but the actual tip to tip length is 39 feet, 11 inches. Again, this is the Integra Riata. Now what's really great about Integra is different and unique, which makes this different is they built this on this K1 Spartan chassis with independent front suspension. You still have a 360 horsepower Cummins engine and um, it, it still can tow 10,000 pounds, but they use the Spartan chassis where everybody else, especially in this price point, is gonna be using a Freightliner chassis. Coming up here, you do have these nice big chrome mirrors with, integrated with your cameras, left blinker, right blinker in reverse. And again, it's just an Integra motorhome. They do a lot of it the same with the aggressive look. I'm a big fan of that. Look how big that windshield is. Real big windshield. Coming down the side here, you do have push button to get in the engine. Ooh. Right there, look at those tires. They're Michelin's, Andrea. 275-R. Dash 80R 22.5 wow. with the nice big AccuRide rims. Coming down the side here. We oh have nice my gosh. Hold the K1 on. K1 raised rail chassis. Look at this. Oh yeah. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. That's awesome. Love the doors. Nice aluminum slam latch doors. That's a more ride trade, Andrea. That slides um, in and out of both sides of the RV. Right here, we got an outdoor television. Nice. Nice power awning with LED lights. And then look at that. Look what's over the window. It has a uh, little window awnings right oh, there. Oh, cool. That's interesting. Oh my god. More storage. That is insane, Matt. Oh yeah. All right. Okay. Yep, interesting. There's that. A little bit more storage. A little bit more storage. Mm hmm. Yes, ma'am. Wow. Battery tray, all the electronical components. I don't even know what to say about all that. Coming around the back. Again, Spartan chassis, K1 chassis, 360 horsepower. 10,000 pound hitch. You know this motorhome can tow 10,000 pounds. That's badass and awesome. You have a backup camera right there. No ladder to get up on the roof, but it is a one piece fiberglass roof. Finish up on the driver's side. Right there, oh man. Oh man, I didn't even see that. You got your 50 amp power cord here, surge guard protector and everything. And as Andre just pointed out, which you guys probably didn't see, but I saw it. Um, it's a 10 gallon DSI water heater. Right here's where you can fill up your DEF. These tires are humongous. Big old tires. 
Oh. All right, so it has a macerator system, as you guys can see there. That's like a poop chute. You know, grinds up your poop and everything. Wow. But I love this water bay. The way they do it, it's really clean and nice. They got a water purifier? Yep, everything. Very nice. And then look, Dirt Devil centralized vacuum. Andrea, look how big these compartment doors I, I, are. I know. It's I mean, just, this could be like a second bedroom. That's what I was thinking. Cool. Other side of your storage. Right here. Oh, we got... Hang on a second. Oh, no, here it is. Right here's your propane tank. And Andrea. Yes. We'll have all the specifications about this motorhome. Tank sizes, lengths, widths, everything down in the description below. Also right here. Bing! So everybody who's watching on TV can see it. And get another look at that. Um, yeah, look at these windows, guys. Those window awnings. It's kind of weird that it would have the window awning since it has the frameless window. And then right up here, just going to be some wiring and stuff. Also, this is where you're able to access. All right. And the generator. Yeah, we're going to check front. that out. Dang, nab it. No, we're not. It is a Cummins Onan 8000 diesel generator. Wow. Well, Andrea, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but it looks even better on the inside. Let's go take a look. No, no room for skipping today. Yep, we were already there. All right, let's check out the inside. Andrea, oh my God, what's the cargo carrying capacity? 7,326 pounds. Dang, that's a new record. Here's the We handle. haven't seen one that no. high. Oh, wow. Yep. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love the floors in here. Oh yeah. Now, if you notice, the, um, the slides, are, slides out. are already out. But again, we're running short on time and so, and the batteries are Beautiful. low here, that's so why the lights are dimming. But uh, we're gonna get it done. And big shout out to Grip6 for sending me this belt. And they are a local company based out of Utah and they make belts for um, outdoor enthusiast people. And I saw their commercial, it was hilarious. Mm -hmm. I will have that commercial at the end of this video. This is an unpaid sponsorship. I told them I love their product so much. If they want to give me some to give to my subscribers, I'll put a link down in the description to their website below. And they made me a custom one. But leave down in the comments below, bing, and you will win. Uh, we'll select somebody to win one of these Grip 6 belts every video for the next five videos. Awesome. Thanks. And it's a great way to support um, a local Made in America company. Actually, Andrea and I just talked off camera, and this one's really hot and the battery's dead. So, Andrea, we're going to the one behind us. I got the AC turned on for you, and the lights all lit up. You happy? Yes, thank you. Me too. And, to be honest with you, that one I think looks better. What, do you, what say you? I agree. I like the black and red and white. What model is this the same one? Hang on, look, look, I can skip now. <laughs> is it the same model? Yes. Yeah, oh, okay, model. good. Just different year. This one's just a 2019. Okay. Now check out the inside oh. of this one. Sorry about that, y'all. Hey, we, we are a live oh, show. Oh, 7461. Yes. Yeah, so Not much right. more. Okay. This is a live Woo. show, y'all. Unscripted. Yes. On, Unscripted. And you guys, we are shooting and we're not editing right now. Wow. Very nice. But this looks better with the um. I like the light interior in here. Yeah. Awesome. So Andre, let's get started up here. This is the Spartan K1 chassis, 360 horsepower Cummins engine. And listen, look, this has the old uh, the old dash. It does not have the digital dash. And I've had a lot of customers, especially diesel customers, tell me that they don't. Have, oh. Ooh. Oh, I say that for last. <laughs> that scared me. Tell me that they don't like the digital dash. They like the old school gauges, and I get that and respect that. You do have your Allison 3000 transmission right here. You have your auto leveling. I love how they do this. And then also look right here. From my point of view driving, notice how like how deep of a slope it is, right? Like I feel like I'm right up there. You know what I'm saying? Why don't you sit in my co-captain seat? Isn't it? Yes. And guys, um, there is a piece that comes out, so you will not fall on the steps. Oh, yeah. And, Andrea, 
I don't care if it's Spartan chassis or Freightliner chassis. You know it has an air horn, and when somebody cuts you off, you go, Woo! <laughs> America, get out of my lane. It's got nice cool. cup holders. Yep. Cameras, left and right blinker, reverse, and everything. No bunk over the cab, but look at this. You have nice hidden hinge cabinetry. Now, here's my two cents on this, Andrea. Okay? This cabinetry here, I'm not a fan of the way it looks. Like, if you do a 360, personally, I'm not a fan of the way it looks. Me but, too. But, you can tell that it is a higher-end grade wood and cabinetry, and, you know, I can see the appeal for a lot of people. It's just not my cup of tea. And both seats do swivel. Both seats do swivel to come part of the living area. And in the living area, you have this nice cabinetry above. You have a comfortable sofa right here. This does make a bed. You got your windows, your daytime shades and privacy shades. And why I love this is because it is directly across from the TV right there. And you got another sofa there. Another sofa Interesting. here. Notice how the heat ducts is going through this sofa. And then check out this TV. Oh, it's a televator. It's on a televator. You know I love it. Wow. TV on the televator so it can go up and down. You got cabinetry right here. Adjustable shelves there. You got a sound bar right there. Very nice, just giving you a little bit more cabinetry when needed. And yeah, this does not make a bed. Oh no, it does make a bed. That makes a bed. Oh, okay, sorry y'all. This jackknife, that makes the bed. Okay. Notice in the roof. Look at this. That's nice. Beautiful. Has the Whisper Quiet air conditioning system, okay? It doesn't have those big boxes like the other brands. And then right over here, the dinette. This does chop down to make a bed. You have your cup holders right there. Comfortable dinette. Again, daytime shades and privacy shades. And Andrea, yes. how do you like the balances? Um, eh. Oh, man. I do <laughs> like this one. It's cute. Oh, that's very this nice. This light fixture is very cute. Um, yeah, I mean, that's even interesting. Yeah, I like that. And look, Matt. Look right there. Art Deco? <laughs> is that Art Deco? Mm, no. Okay. Well, Andrea, it's now time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. MSRP on that motor home oh, is, dang nabbit. When you say that, you're talking about the 2020? The 2020 that we started the video with, but it was too hot. <laughs> Three hundred and thirty-three thousand nine hundred and six eighty-six dollars wow. MSRP. We have that one discounted thirty-eight percent off Woo. to two hundred five nine nine five. That's unbelievable. That is a phenomenal price. But Andrea, this one is a twenty nineteen, and listen, they were made around the same time. One got vend as a twenty, one got vend as a nineteen. So that's one of the first 20s. This is one of the last 19s. This one is 40% off. Wow. To 199995 That is a phenomenal price for a phenomenal coach. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Um, but give me a call. Let me try to get you a better price. I promise you guys, no promises. But if you're interested, give me a call. We will try together. Try not. Do or do not. Andrea, tell everybody what to do. You can call, you can text, you can email, you can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962 or mattsrvreviews at gmo.com or go to my website, mattsrvreviews.com where you can get your official Matt's RV Review sticker. Bing! Um, and there's also a contact me page down uh, below. Andrea, I'm all like losing it because it's so dang hot here. Andrea, let's continue the video. All right. So I, I do have to comment. I love these floors, Matthew. Look. Porcelain tile, snapstone floors. All right. So it is beautiful here. floors. Um, cabinetry. Uh huh. It, it definitely feels like it's a better quality. Yep. Uh, not a fan of the color. Think they right. could have done a better job. Yep. Backsplash is very nice. Very nice. Nice solid surface countertop. Yep. It's kind of like a Corian material. Double sink. 
Oh, let me see that thing. Oh, very nice, Andre. And of course, this is important. Yes. And then let's see. We got three drawers. One. One. <laughs> two. Three. That's three drawers, One. Andrea. Oh, not soft close. And check this out. Oh we yeah. Need more counter space. Pull out peninsula. Got a little peninsula. Under here we have more cabinetry. It also yep. comes with trash can. Oh, that 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 one's a ninety-four dollar trash Congratulations. can. Congratulations! Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> and then look at this. This is nice. Look at this convection microwave. Big. That's huge. Wow. Big microwave okay, convection so oven. We have a two burner induction cooktop. Yep. Very nice. And then we have a nice drawer here for yep. pots and pans. Absolutely. Pantry. Oh, look, my favorite. Oh yeah, very nice. Love that. Oh. Beautiful, beautiful residential whirlpool that will run off your inverter. Very nice, 2,000 watt that. inverter. Very nice. This is your control panel right here for your tanks and everything and stuff like that. And I'll try you. This motorhome is a bath and a half. And it's yeah. now time for the toilet test. Okay. Uh oh. What say you? Porcelain. I tell you what, it's a prime pooping position. That's out the way. I got plenty of space. It's very nice. It gets the four P's. I like the, the double door or yep. the medicine cabinet. Yep, very nice. I like nice. that there's a window there. Oh, yeah, very nice. You got nice. a fan there, guys. Uh huh. Uh -huh. And look, they give you counter space there with your sink. Yep. And it's just nice. Yeah, it is very nice. You know, uh, oh my God, did I mention the length is 39 feet 11 inches? I believe I did in the beginning. That's so great because it's truly under 40 feet and they're able to cram everything in here. So we got a pocket door on the bedroom. Pocket door. Wardrobe. Inside the bedroom. Right here, we got adjustable shelves. Very nice. Oh, this TV on a televator. Huh, that's that, interesting. I've never seen that. It looks really weird. There's actually. the other wardrobe. Yep, very nice. Very and nice. Matt, there's drawers under there too. Look. Oh, yeah. Up oh, little DVD player so right there. So you have six drawers all together here. Oh yeah. Oh, deep drawer. Nice. Very nice, very nice. And right here, very nice. And then over here, oh my God, <laughs> Art Deco, double deco. And then you do have a tilted view bed. This bed does have to be up for you to get the slide out in. Um, and then you do have your side windows right there. Also, you have nice deep storage above the bed. Tell me why the valances look better in here than throughout the motorhome. I don't know. Let me see. Oh, yeah, they are different patterns. Uh huh. You Women like that? I didn't notice that. I don't. And you got a little nightstand here, if you can see it. Yep. And there's a little cabinet underneath. Very nice. This is a cushion for you to drop down and make the dinette a bed. On the other side, you have the nightstand as well with the cabinet very nice oh look at that this is a nice shower I love that very nice shower nice one-piece fiberglass shower does have a seat in it and yeah pretty nice nice glass shower plenty of space I absolutely love it I like that it has a seat in there oh snap oh wow Let look me at see that. that yeah okay man that's look crazy. how much Madison you can hide in there oh very, very nice. nice yep so what about the mirror there? Does it open or is it just for decorative? Yeah, okay. No, it looks like it opens. Does oh, it? Oh, wow. Does open. And look, they continue with the backsplash there, Matthew. That looks good. Very nice. Nice modern sink. Uh-huh. Underneath, we got a cabinet. Uh-huh. And uh-oh. Let's what's see what's here? here. Oh. oh, stackable Whirlpool washer dryer. I love that. And then right here. Got a fan. I'll show you. This does look like it is a porcelain toilet at a, oh my God, Andrea, eight P's baby, eight P's. Eight P's, eight whoa. P's, four P's times two, that's eight P's. This is another prime pooping position. Normally with a half bath, they normally try to make it tight. Um, They did a really good job on this. And look, the toilet paper holder's in a good spot. Very nice. Got a towel rack, got a uh -huh. pocket door here to the bathroom. This is fantastic. Very nice, Andrea. As nice as it is, it's now time that we give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. What should we do first? I'm going to say, let's do three things we dislike about it. Can we do likes about it first? Here's sure. why. Because all three of my dislikes are outside. Okay. So, um, 
unless you have a dislike. Let's do lights first. Okay. First thing I like about this motorhome is the K1 Spartan chassis. I think it's cool, it's badass, it's independent front suspension. Here's what that means to me, Andrea. Me personally, I've test driven these and I've test driven the Freightliners. It's, you know, it would take a real professional to tell the difference in my opinion. Um, but just the fact that you have the option to go with a different chassis manufacturer than just Freightliner, I like the availability and choice. And that was a pretty dang old loud air horn. Yeah, it was. So that's one. Two. Okay, so one thing that I do like in here is I love the floor. Okay? Yes. And I love the kitchen. Great kitchen it setup. Does. It's, it's, it's plenty of room. You know, I got plenty of space to, to cut up vegetables and things like that. Yep. Uh, I just, I like the way it looks. So, yep, it's very nice. Yeah. Okay, so that's two. And then three. Three, three, three. You know what? You know what I'm going to say? The, bump, the basic functionality of this motorhome, all while staying within 40 feet, okay? Half bathroom, not tight. Double sofas, not small. The dinette's good. Kitchen's good size. That rear bathroom's good size. You know, so many times, I don't know what manufacturers do, but they make this floor plan and they go over 40 feet to like 41 feet, two inches or something. Integra designed, oh, you know what they did? Do you know why? Oh, that's how, because no, notice how you're like sitting like right up there, right? It's like, it's like really like a And bus. it's saving you like a foot. That's how they were able to do it, I bet. Okay, so I love the functionality of the size of this motorhome. The feng shui of it. The feng shui of this motorhome. Andrea, yes, listen. Comment below either grip six or feng shui. You comment that's that. I want to make sure we give a belt away to the people who watch the whole video. So in your comment, put hashtag feng shui or hashtag <laughs> grip six, and um, we'll select somebody tomorrow, and we'll announce the winner in next video. Right? Yeah. Cool. That's awesome. Now it's time for three things we don't like about this motorhome. Bum bum bum. bum. Hang on, before I go, do you have anything you want to say you don't like? Because my, my two, I have two or three I outside. I have a really strong dislike. Ooh. I don't like the color of these cabinets. Womp, 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 but, womp. you know, it's, it's Just doable. an opinion. It yeah, I, I just feel like the cabinetry, I mean, you can tell that it's good cabinetry. Uh, it's just not our cup of tea. I would like to see some more gray. You know, I like to see some gray gray cabinetry yeah i'm waiting for them to start doing that but at the same time you know there is other brands that are doing that and and again i like how it's giving you different options so that's one number two uh i do not like how there's carpet underneath oh good wah, point wah. good point you know i've never have been a fan of the carpet underneath never will be with that said, it is supposed to help dampen the noise and everything. Just not, not my fan. Not a fan. So that's two. And then three for three hundred fifty for three hundred and thirty-three thousand dollars. I'd expect a fifty-amp power cord reel. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? Now here's the good news about this setup. We can install a 50 amp power cord reel, but I just feel like, you know, if you're spending this much money, you shouldn't have to worry about a heavy 100, 100 pound power cord. Where's the fuel tank? Oh, we didn't even go over that. Yeah, I just remembered, uh, I didn't see it. Ah, right oh, here. Oh, there it is, okay. Yep, 100 gallon fuel capacity. Wow. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys have any questions about this motorhome, please call me, text me, send me an email. It is mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962 or check out my website, mattsrvreviews.com where, again, you can get your official Matt's RV Review sticker. Bing! Also, there is a contact me page down in the description below. Also, if you want a nice belt, again, stay tuned till the end. I'm gonna have their commercial because it is absolutely hilarious. <laughs> and uh, I'll have lit links to Grip6 down in the description below. Or if you go to their website, grip6.com, 
under the comment section if you buy one just make sure you put Matt's RV reviews and yeah that way we can track how many people we're sending to them Andrea do you have anything you want to say yeah hey everybody thank you so much for watching let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike uh, Integra does read our comments and I'm interested to see what everybody has to say about this this is our first review on the Integra Riata so let us know what you think. Yep, and the more comments we get, then we'll be able to review yes. bigger and better That's Integra right. coaches. Hope everybody's doing well and you guys are safe. Thanks so much for watching. Andrea, we'll, we'll see you next time. I've always said, never screw with a badger. What's your name? I'm gonna call you Fred. Those slippery little sod sifters may look like sweet huggable dirt puppies, but they'll straight up murder you. I gotta smile. That's because badgers have a bite like a steel vice. One little nip from those bandits stings like a son of a- <laughs> That's gonna leave a mark! You know what else will leave a mark? Every belt you've ever owned. Just like a badger bite, your typical belt buckle plays dirty both above and below the belt. Think about it. Ever had a belt buckle burrow its way up into your muscular flabs? Every human being who's ever owned a belt knows the sensation of their buckle periscoping its way into the area just south of the belly button border. Do you realize that in all your years of buying brand name belts, those belts have been branding you? But maybe you're okay with a pinch from your navel cinch. Maybe you're saying to yourself, that pain only happens every time I sit, stand, eat, and breathe, weirdo. But for those of us who don't enjoy recreational pain, we need a belt that won't badger us. See what I did there? I, I do see what you did there. What I tell you about talking in public? It's bad, and I should feel bad. Introducing the Grip 6 belt. The only belt on the market with a no gut pinch guarantee. The Grip 6 is so light and thin that you'll barely even notice it's there. Its smooth, low-profile design makes this belt the most comfortable belt in the world. Overly confident much? You're damn right. Because on top of being the most comfortable belt in the universe, each Grip 6 belt comes with our A3 Garandam T. Meaning if you don't like any belt for any reason at any time or in any condition, you can just contact us and we'll give you a full refund. And we'll even pay for return shipping. So, just for the sake of casually cursing again, you're gonna love this belt. Oh, don't say I it! I guarantee it. Dude! The best part about a Grip 6 belt is there aren't any belt holes. What did you just call me? Because holes ruin everything. Shirt holes, black holes, plot holes, pay holes. I'm right here. They all suck. But the worst holes are the belt holes. Oh. They won't keep your pants up for nothing. Think about it. Your belt can only expand and contract in inch-long increments. Your belt is either too loose or too tight, and they don't have a hole for that. That's why Grip 6 belts don't have holes, which comes in handy after 15 minutes at the taco stand, where you just went from medium to extra medium. Enjoy infinitely smooth sliding action that perfectly adjusts to your specific waistline at the speed of taco. You just slide the tail inside the buckle until it fits just right. The belt on buckle friction holds it secure with a grip that's badger bite tight, only without all the bothersome badgering. And this bad boy's strong enough to withstand over 200 pounds of outward pressure. So pack it in, big boy. And unlike the badger, the Grip 6 will let go when you want it to. I think it's time we ditch the belt hole and you ditch the badgering belt. We don't need no stinking badgers. But you do need a belt. And if you already have a belt, you need a better belt. The Grip 6 belt comes in a handful of different belt and buckle combinations. A handful? They've got millions of belts and like infinity belt buckles. Quiet, you. And if that's not enough, check out all these satisfied users, like that guy. Or that guy. No, not him. He's a total belt hole. Do you want to try the last belt you'll ever need? Click below, and if you don't love it, we'll buy it back and give it to a grown-up. How'd you get a credit card anyway? We stand behind our belts because we make them ourselves right here in the U.S. of friggin' A. So suck it everywhere else. And we don't just make the belts, we make the machines that make the belts. Beltception. Because <laughs> pretty soon the, the belts will be making themselves. Nope. Grip 6 is the lightest, thinnest, toughest belt on the market. Get one, get three, who cares? I have a thousand, but it's because I'm rich and smart. So don't be a belt hole like everybody else. Click on the link and get your Grip 6 belt today. It comes with a friggin' badger. The badger's optional. Don't take the badger. See you on the playground. Hello? I've been the victim of animal cruelty. Reverse pain. Hello! I'm gonna lie down here. If someone... Oh. Not again!